the real problem in the car industry is that the suppliers make most of the value-added content. The car companies themselves are basically just assemblers. You have seven times as many employees in the supplier base as you have in the, in the car companies. We're one of them. We have a very big auto parts business. They were all near the rope's end at the time when there was the talk about GM and Chrysler going bankrupt because the banks were no longer willing to lend to the suppliers against the receivables from GM and Chrysler. If GM and Chrysler had gone into a free fall bankruptcy, which would have been the alternative, the supply base would have been decimated. And the problem with that is they all have the same suppliers. So if I'm a supplier whose main customer is GM, I also had sell to Ford, I sell to Toyota, I sell to this one and that. If I get knocked out because I can't finance my GM receivables, I've just knocked out the production lines at Toyota, Ford, and everyone else. So there would have been an incredible problem uh, had the car companies not been bailed. What could have happened, and the, a lot of the hedge funds w w that we're friendly with were in the bonds, they came to me when the thing was unfolding and said, well, what are we gonna do? We're gonna get trampled by the government. I said, well, there's only one solution. You guys have to come up with the debtor in possession financing. It's a big check, billions of dollars. You have to come up with it because otherwise, the guy who in bankruptcy, guy who has the gold, he tells you what's going to be sold. So uh, they ref they failed to do that. Government took it over, and frankly, government did the same thing in general with the car companies that we did with the steel companies. We gave the union a preferential deal for two reasons. One, you can't have a factory without workers and you need the workers to have some kind of standard of living and be motivated. Uh, and second, all we did was give a little less to the regular creditors and a little more to the union. That's the same thing the government did. Now their motivation might have been more political than economic, but again, if you're the guy writing the check, Bankruptcy is, is Darwinism, it's economic <coughs> Darwinism. And so I didn't find it surprising or troubling. And that's why the bankruptcy courts upheld it. Because in fact, government did nothing that, we had, that I hadn't done, Carl Icahn, all the other people who play a lot in bankruptcies. We'd all done the same thing, it's just it didn't happen to be the big fat hand of government, it was private sector. So I, I think there would have been a tremendous problem in this country um, ha had the car companies not been bailed out. And I think the best proof is now they're starting to do pretty well again. So you have an industry. 